Hello, in this video I'm going to write a little program in JavaScript to convert temperatures in Celsius to temperatures in Fahrenheit. So if I go to Google and I write um, convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and it, it will give me a formula. So I take the value in Celsius, I multiply by 9 divided by 5 and I add 32. Right, so let's try that. Um, and uh, so d when I grew up, I was familiar with Fahrenheit and probably Celsius as well, um, because um, the UK was kind of switching over from one to the other. But now I'm much more familiar with Celsius. And in the USA, I believe Fahrenheit is much more common. So these are both commonly used um, at least Fahrenheit is used in the US and probably some other places. All right, so let's create a new file here. So I go to the File Explorer and create a new file. Let's call it convert temp or yeah, that'll do convert temp.js. Maybe I'll put an underscore in there. All right. Uh, so let's start off with use strict because this ensures that I have to declare variables before using them, and that's a, a good thing to have. It reduces errors. And uh, we need to get the value in Celsius. I'll get it from the command line. So I'll assume that the user has typed node convert temp.js and then a temperature in Celsius that they want to convert. At the moment, with the syntax we've seen, which is very limited, we have no way of checking if they've correctly typed something. Um, we can't even tell them what to type yet. Uh, we can't output a message before the script runs. It's not possible. But um, we're going to improve on this a lot later on. So we'll just do what we can for the moment with the syntax we've got. So uh, we've seen that we can get... Let's write let Celsius. We can get um, arguments from the command line via process.argv2. So remember the first... Uh, if we write process.argv1, that would give us the name and location of the Node.js program, program, the, um, the program called Node. Uh, process.argv1 is the name and location of our script. Process.argv2 is the first thing the user types, if anything, after the name of the program. And process.argv3 will be the next thing they type after that and so on on the command line when they run the program. So let's get let's assume we can get Celsius like this and uh, we can just output it with console.log just to check. So if I do just clear if I clear this and write node convert temps.js if I don't type anything afterwards that's going to come out as a value called undefined. But if I type something like 21, which I would consider room temperature, um, then it's echoing back the value that I typed. Well, I just did something here. Okay, there we go. So that seems to be working. Um, how will we convert, convert it to Fahrenheit? So let's say let Fahrenheit equal, we need to take the value in Celsius multiply it by 5 divided by 9, and we need to add 32. So we should be able to do it like this. Let's try. Let's write console.log. And um, let's write let's write out the value in Celsius, comma, in Celsius is, comma, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit. So um, if you can see what this is doing, I, I'm, I'm trying to write something like, for example, uh, 21 in Celsius is uh, whatever it is, 65 in far Fahrenheit. I'm trying to make my output look like this. And remember, we can output multiple values using console.log. It doesn't matter if they're variables or they're literal strings like this, bits of text, which we call strings, that I've literally written exactly there. 
we can output them with console.log and we can output multiple values by separating them here by commas. Let's try this and see what that looks like. So I'll just clear my console and use the up arrow here to bring back, bring back this. And if I run it, um, 21 in Celsius is 43 in Fahrenheit. I made a mistake here. I should have 9 divided by 5 instead of 5 divided by 9. Let's try it. There we go, 69.8 Fahrenheit. Um, that looks right to me. Uh, we could check on Google, of course. Let's say 21 Celsius to Fahrenheit, 69.8. So that seems to be correct. Um, let's just correct this. It's about 70 Fahrenheit, basically. Okay, um, now this expression here, okay, it worked, but it's it, it looks a bit ambiguous. There's this thing called operator precedence that determines uh, which operators run first. For example, there's a question here. Um, do we do Celsius times 9 divided by 5 and then add 32? Or do we do Celsius times 9 divided by 5 add 32? Or do we even do Celsius times 9 and then divide by 5 plus 32? You know, it could be seen as ambiguous. In fact, in this case, operator precedence um, just takes care of this and it, it works as you might expect. But in general, with expressions like this, if you have any fear that um, operators might run in a way that you don't want, you can use round brackets to make it clearer what's going on. So in this case, um, I would consider putting round brackets here around this bit just to make it a bit clearer. Then it makes it clearer that we're doing Celsius times 9 divided by 5. It doesn't matter whether we do Celsius times 9, then divide by 5, or we do Celsius times 9 divided by 5. It's the same anyway. And then add 32 after all that. Um, let's check that it still works. There we go. Yeah. Um, so you can put round brackets in to make this clearer. If you are new to programming, then um, you need to practice this stuff a lot. You know, practice it quite a bit, I would say. Uh, so it, one good thing to do is just, you know, try to convert one thing to another. You know, try to convert, um, for example, uh, measurements in um, feet and inches to measurements in meters, whatever you like. Or another good one is, you know, working with dates. Like you can do stuff like, try to convert a certain number of days to a period specified in um, in like months and years or something like that. Um, there's lots of things like that you can do. Use your imagination. Um, but you, you want to practice using variables, uh, using arithmetic um, and outputting stuff with console.log. Practice all this stuff thoroughly spend some time on it if you're new to programming if you if you've done programming before this is old stuff to you you probably just are watching this to know where javascript is different um so i'm, I'm going to try to go not too slowly i'm not going to dwell on every operator here because i'm aware that many people will have some prior programming experience but i want to keep it simple enough that you can follow this course with no programming experience at all but if you haven't got no programming experience at this point you want to play with these ideas a bit try to try to write different little programs that convert one thing to another if you don't always succeed that's okay uh, but the important thing is to try because you just need to become more familiar with using variables to see what you can do and what you can't do and we're going to be looking at more obviously more examples as we go through the course okay so until next time happy coding